We're on a quest to make Luton Town Europe's best club. But we're currently one of the worst teams in Premier League history. We've been getting destroyed by all of the big clubs. And with just one win all season, we need to get our act together or we're going to get relegated. Welcome to episode number three of our EAFC 24 Luton Town career mode. I mean, yeah, that Premier League table is brutal. We've had one win all season and that was two months ago. But we are about to end of December, meaning we have an opportunity for reinforcements around the corner. But those reinforcements might not mean anything if we're already relegated by then. As far as I'm concerned, just about every game from now on this season is a must win, but we're starting December off in West London taking on Brentford. Oh, that's fallen right to Jensen there. I'm trying to defend using the defensive midfielders. Can we clear it? We can't clear. I've just got to get in the habit this game when we don't have players that know how to dribble of just booting it out. I try to play out of the back so often and we take touch. And that has been half. We feel like we can see half our goals this season. Not an ideal start. Bruh, as if that's fallen to Malpe right there. If he scored that, I was going to lose my head. That kills it there. Why is Dyer running away? We got so lucky. Cruel made a big save there. The CPU just runs away. Speaking of running away, we're running away here with Ross Barkley on the counter. He's going to lay that one in there to Chong. Chong, nicely nestled ball through there to Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley, ball in. Shoots it. Oh, it's hit the post. Saved it onto the post there from Flecken. Corner here for us. Can we get an equalizer here? Front post. Flicked on. Oh, we'll get on again to Heath. Chong shoots it. That's a big save. All right, we're making a double substitution here. So are, so are Brentford, but we're going to take off Lekonga and Morris here. We're putting on Mpenzu, and we're giving another opportunity here for Adebayo to get himself back into the starting 11. Good ball through there to Ross Barkley. Ross Barkley in the box here. We need to be smart. We're going to cut it back. We're going to go to Chong. Save. Follow up. Be smart. Don't shoot it first time. Jota. Giles. Ah, bloody hell. Bloody hell. Malpe, another big save there from Tim Krull. He's keeping us in this game. Oh, good interception there from Jota. I'm just running for the corner. We need some support. Jota. He's going to skin Rico Henry. Jota, this could be one of the great individual solo goals. He scores it. Jota. Oh, my God. That is why we paid the massive bucks for him. Jota with a Hatton Ben Arthur like run. He runs close to 100 meters and scores one of the goals of the season and might have rescued us a point here away in London. That was just pure pace and pure heart. Beautiful stuff. Three minute stoppage time. Can we make a miracle happen here? I'm gonna feed it here. Oh, they intercepted, but that is gonna be full time, lads. You know what? I will take a point. I'm desperately waiting for that January transfer window to open up so that we can make some signings. And I have switched up the formation massively for this one. We're changing to a five at the back. Chong drops to the bench. Lockyer back in. We're parking the bus today, lads. If we're any chance of winning today, we're going to have to do it playing an ugly brand of football. He's been good whenever we've used him down the left-hand side. Feed it here. <gasps> Morris. Oh, it's a block. We can't get the follow-up either. Martinelli's driving through. We're trying to defend here. It's Erdegaard passing us to death. Good save, Tim Krull. Just clear it, Lockyer. The f Literally pressing square. I'm literally pressing square to clear the ball. And Jesus just blocks it and puts it in. I mean, look, we make the big tackle. We're just spamming square, taking a touch. It's so annoying. The bad players are bad this year. The good players are good. It's almost like that's the way the game should be. Oh, Acuna's won that one somehow. I've just slid over. Yeah, I'm done. I'm not playing this one. I'm simming to the game. I'm, I'm just annoyed. No, I'll keep playing. I'm only going to get better one way, and that's by dealing with these bad games. But... <laughs> We are not getting many bounces of the ball today, man. Martinelli, we're just past. What the f Like, how can I... What is this video game? What is this video game? They've squared it to the back post. He's past the penalty spot and Saka's headed that in. I'm done. I'm, I'm, I'm jumping to the sim. We end up scoring with the CPU. I'm better off simulating this year, man. That is... I've seen it all. I am a man without answers and almost without hope. And now we've got Manchester City. Please give me a break. It is going to be a miracle if we survive the Premier League relegation zone. 
Foden puts the shot on and it's saved by Krull. We've got a corner here, lads. Can we get a goal against all odds? Ross Barkley is going to swing this one in there. Get to the back post. Oh, I thought we are going to get that still on, though. Dyer. Dyer. Oh, saved by Edison. Luton Town attack. I might have to go for this first time here. Morris shoots it. Oh, it's saved by Edison. Oh, my God. Look at that. Look at the way they've set us up. Harlan's already in behind. This is going to be 1-0. I don't know how I meant to... Oh, Tim Krull has saved it. Tim Krull, nah. I thought we were going to get screwed there. Might get screwed here, though. It's Bernardo Silva putting that one in and there to Harland. What a block. Oh, they're in a great position here, Man City. I'm trying to drop back with Kabore. It's Bernardo Silva. He squares it to Harland. What a block there from Dyer. Oh, my God, lads. We've actually picked up a scoreless draw against Manchester City. I don't believe it. I do not. That, that might be a turning point in our season, honestly. Adebayo wants out. I mean, I don't blame him. We've been starting Carlton Morris over him. But he said, boss, I've got to be honest with you. I think me not getting games is starting to damage my career. I want to get away and make a fresh start somewhere else. Please let me leave so I can get a chance to play. I understand, man. I don't blame him. If an offer comes in, it comes in. But if it doesn't, I'm happy to keep him, honestly, this year. But as far as I'm concerned right now, for at least this season, Colin Morris is my number one striker. Oh, my God. So we've got Bournemouth in our next game. I was checking the lineup. They've signed Luciano Acosta. If you guys don't know, I'm a massive SC Cincinnati fan. Lucho Acosta is my favorite player. I literally adopted a cat three weeks ago and named him Lucho. Hold on. I'll, I want you guys to meet Lucho. Lads, I want you to meet Lucho. Here he is. Say hello. Say hello, Lucho. If you guys ever hear some meowing in the background, just know it's this little man here. But if Lucho Acosta scores against me, I'm going to be very upset. Traore squares that one. What a block from their own player. And they get the follow-up at the near post. Oh, my God. I can't defend on this game. Go and celebrate with your manager like a twat. Kabore driving through here. Come on, we need a quick equalizer. That's a good ball there from Kabore to Chong. Good touch from Morris. Morris holding it up. Going back to Chong. Chong! Oh, saved by Radu at the near post. Come on, we're a counter-attacking team. Chong's looking good down the left to the right-hand side here. Gonna go here. Morris. Good ball to Chong. This is where we do our best work with Chong and Jota. Tahith Chong is gonna shoot. That is a bad finish, though. I probably should have squared it across to Jota. Lucho Acosta lays it back. What a block from Anderson. We got very lucky there. Defend it, lads. Defend it. Good block there from Marvelous Nakamba. Good header back. Oh my god, if Krul dropped that and that resulted in a goal. Giles, we need to exploit this a little bit more often. It's gonna be Morris. Come on, Jared. Focus up. That was not focused up. Oh, we've just been done for pace there. Dyer's been done for pace. And they're going to score at the near post. They've hit us with our own trick. A counter-attacking goal. That hurts the soul. That's our second loss here in December. Two draws, two losses. We're yet to have a win. And that was a frustrating performance. We need reinforcements here before January because we might not even have a job come January. And what can you do to make an impact to your team when it's not the transfer window? Free agents. We're trying to get a bonus, trying to get an advantage in any way possible. Kasper Schmeichel is a free agent. He's a Premier League winner. It would be a plus 11 increase in between the sticks. Let's see if we can get the Dane into the club as some sort of a reinforcement before the window opens. I don't even know if we'll financially be able to do this before we get the money in for Mpanzu. We might not be able to do this. He's going to be crucial. One year's fine by me. He's 37 years of age. No release clause. Cool, cool, cool. All right, salary. The most we can afford is 19,716. Oh my God. Come on, Casper. Do some charity work. Do some charity work. We're not going to be able to do it, are we? Will he take this? Will he take this? He accepts it. Oh my God. I genuinely thought that wasn't going to be able to happen. I didn't think that was going to happen. But we have got Casper Schmeichel and we are officially bankrupt. That is a massive addition to our squad though. A plus 11 growth in between the sticks. And at least we know we're going to get 1.6 million pounds in January when Mpanzu departs. So we're only going to be broke short term. We have received a transfer offer here from Fulham though. 4.4 million pounds for Adebayo. 
I want to go see if I can get 5.5 million pounds or even more so that we have the money to play with as soon as the window opens. Let's go and save 5.8 million pounds here for Fulham. They need someone to replace Alexander Mitrovic and Marco Silva is going to accept it. We might have a nice amount of money to play around with in January. But there it is, lads. Our first look at Kasper Schmeichel in Luton Town colours. I don't think he realizes how much of a hero we need him to be this season. And come January 1st, Elijah Adebayo will no longer be a Luton Town player. I really didn't know what direction his career was going to go in this season, but we're going to get 5.8 million pounds out of the transfer budget, which is a big, big move for us. We need to use that money wisely. Ross Barkley is available on a free transfer come January 1st. Can we get him re-signed? for a little pay decrease, that would be nice. I'll take 34,000, that's still 500 more pounds into our bank account and Ross Barkley is staying for another few seasons. December has been brutal in the fixture list. We've got Newcastle United here, but last time we faced a big team, we got a draw. Let's see if Lightning can strike twice. It's Charlington, I'm just trying to defend. They go for the long shot, it falls back to them. Kasper Schmeichel, his first save as a Luton Town goalkeeper. Oh, I had to make the tackle there, but now it's one-on-one -on -one between Izak and Schmeichel. It's a heavy touch and it's a good save there from Kasper Schmeichel. Oh, penalty for Newcastle. Who's given that away? We give so many penalties away during these simulations. Come on, Schmeichel, be a hero on debut. He makes the save. Kasper Schmeichel makes the save. Can we get a single attacking highlight, please? Uh-oh. Big save, Schmeichel. Oh, what a ball in there. It's Morris. Morris, that's a terrible touch. It's heavy and it's smothered by Pope. No penalty in the 90th minute. It's their second penalty. Please get us a point. Please get us a point, Schmeichel. On debut, 90th minute. He makes the second penalty save. Kasper Schmeichel automatically a hero here at Luton Town. Oh my God. Kasper Schmeichel on debut has saved two penalties and has got us a point here that is one hell of a way to make yourself an automatic hero this right here may be our biggest game of the season so far though it is boxing day and we are taking on 19th place sheffield united a win here is a non-negotiable as far as i'm concerned come on we need to angle this run in morris is going to hold it up it's gonna go back here to Chong. Chong to Barkley. Barkley, why are we taking a touch? It doesn't matter though. I'm pretty certain that took a deflection off of Robinson. But Ross Barkley is gonna give us the lead here just before halftime. One thing I'm not liking about this game is I literally hit the circle button to try taking that first time. And it takes a touch, which is gonna cost us eventually down the line. But nonetheless, that works out brilliantly. It did take a deflection off the shin, but Ross Barkley gives us the lead. Oh, I thought we had the interception there. Sheffield United have equalized. Just why am I leaving such a hole to run into? Anderson's running backwards. Dyer's in no man land. We are a bad football club. Oh, good stuff from Chong. Good stuff from Morris to turn. Come on, Morris. Quick reply. Quick reply. That is exactly what the doctor ordered. Mark Carlton Morris has got us the lead once again. That was some great movement there from us, which is what we need more of. I feel like we've been lacking this movement. But Carlton Morris turns the defender, charges in, could have squared it to Barkley for the sweaty goal, but it's a class finish. They square it, and they've missed it. Oh my God, they've missed it. Oh, trying to hold on. No, what is this defense? I fucking hate this. What is that defense? I've gone ultra defensive. And Dye is literally playing as a defensive mid. Oh, I'm so lost. I'm so lost. The 92nd minute. And we've copped a heartbreaking equalizer. That is a heartbreaker. We just can't get a win. We get a draw. But we can't get our second win of the season. This is embarrassing. Again, truly proving to be one of the hardest career modes in YouTube history. The counter-attack has just not been working for us. We're changing our tactical vision back to standard. Gonna see if that works, but 
We're also going to need to hire some more coaches once we get more money, to be fair. Our midfield's at a 15 star right now. Our attack's at a 5. But yeah, we need more coaches for goalkeeping and defense. If it makes us feel any better, we're getting closer to beating Derby County's record and we're not going to be the worst team in Premier League history. I think they have 11 points, so one more draw and we'll get there. It's so annoying though because so many of those draws could have been turned into wins and we could be out of the relegation zone right now. If we convert draws into wins in the second half of the season, we should hopefully avoid relegation, but that is a big if. But it's a huge challenge as Chelsea on the 30th of December travels here. Last time we played Chelsea, we got absolutely destroyed at Stamford Bridge and things aren't going to get any easier as we have had to rotate our, rotate our team heavily. Long cross here by Luton Town. Oh my God, that's going to fall there. Adebayo, Adebayo is going to give us the lead against Chelsea in his final game for Luton Town. We've got the lead. Oh my God. Please CPU, just no penalties, please. God, we're going to have to make a massive tackle here with Dowdy. It's a Chelsea solo attack. Oh, why is he running backwards? I thought we were running towards him and I was going to make a slide tackle. Yes, that's a big tackle, Mengi. No, they've passed us to death there. Big save, Schmeichel. Yes, and they put it wide. Free kick here for Chelsea. Dangerous position. Are they going to lay it off? It's going to be Raheem Sterling. He's going for the shot and he blasts it over. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Jackson up against Laconga. Nicholas Jackson, I'm bringing people back. We're bringing people back. They've gone for the long shot and Smichael saves it. Come on, lads. Brown to Jota. Jota! Oh my god, we're gonna beat Chelsea! It's Jota! He makes it 2-0! And we're surely going to beat Chelsea here and get one of the biggest results in our club's history. What a goal from Jota. Oh, that might change everything, lads. And the referee blows the full-time whistle. That is a massive result. We get our second win for the season. What a way to round out 2023. And with that, ladies and gentlemen, the transfer window is open. Incredibly sad, but also optimistic about Mpanzu and Adebayo departing the club. Adebayo left on an absolute high note. We'll say that. But we now have £7 million in our transfer budget, which for most clubs is not much at all. But for us, makes us feel like we are billionaires. Who is this guy? I was just setting my squad. Salah Zakaria, out of the club since 2024. I didn't sign this guy. He's not showing up here either. Did he just get randomly added to our squad? Was he on loan last year? Is this a new feature in the game? I am concerned. I'm uh, I'm going to immediately add him to the transfer. I can't even add him to the transfer list. We have to add him to the loan list. God damn it. All right. Well, in that case, I'm going to listen to transfer offers for Kaminsky and hopefully get an extra 1.6 million pounds. That is... Not ideal, but it is what it is. I honestly think we need a new striker. I've started scouting operations for a whole bunch of players of ages and abilities to see if anybody's going to be a fit in our system. Whoever we do manage to sign, if anybody at all, there's going to be so much pressure on their shoulders to be the guy for us this second half of the season. But whilst we wait to see if we can bring a new striker in the club, we have our first FA Cup game of the series off to Wales as we take on Cardiff City. Opportunity here for a solo run with Morris. What can he do? It's a good first touch. Can he get past Perry and G? We're going to go for the shots. It's a good save though. I probably could to cut it back. Morris, I hope he's got forward momentum here. Morris again, he does have a bit of forward momentum. We're going to go for the long shot and he's going to find the back of the net. I have a almost shoot on sight policy in this game because long shots seem to be an absolute, not guarantee, but a safe option when you're not playing the best teams. We've actually got a penalty for ourselves. I don't believe it. Let's go, Morris. I'm going to go top left corner. Morris to make it 2-0 here in the FA Cup. He sends the keeper the wrong way. And we've got ourselves a healthy lead here in Wales. Jota driving in the box. Jota ball across. Oh my God, Morris. That should have been your hat trick. But there it is, lads. A 2-0 win. A comfortable win. And we're heading into the next round of the FA Cup. Why can't we play like that in the Prem? Momentum is definitely on our side after back-to-back -back wins, but we're looking to make it back-to-back -back wins in the Premier League for the first time this season. We're at Turf Moor, though, against Burnley. It's going to be a tough task. Chong just got taken out, but we're going to play the advantage here because Gabore's in the box. 
No real options. We're going to go back to Ross Barkley. That is a ball and a half. Oh, what a save from Muric. Every day of the week, that should be 1-0. Defending here, Burnley on the counter-attack. Looking dangerous. Good stuff, Anderson. Come on, now can we get them on the counter-attack? It's Chong. I'm going to feed Morris here. It's a great ball from Chong to Morris. A bit of work to do, but can we do it? Morris, I'm just going to go for the shot. It's hit the post. Are you kidding me? Morris, look at that Chong. Chong, come on. Oh, I saw Barkley. Too late. Is he onside? He is onside. Oh, my God. I need to be better with my finishing. Way too weak. Look at you overlap. Please be onside. Jared, focus. Jared, focus. Come on. Jota. We finally get the goal, and you can't say we don't deserve it, lads. Clinicality has been lacking in this game so far. But we focus up there and get a well-deserved lead here at Turf Moor. Half an hour to hold on. Burnley's defense in all sorts of mayhem. No, 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 no. Oh, my God, what a save. I think he was offside, but what a save. One overlapping run from you, Giles. Beautiful stuff. We've been missing that. He's so good. The overlapping run. Just do the pace. Do the pace. Giles, look at the back post. Chong. Oh, my God. Jota, I see you, Giles. Yes, this is my new game plan. Jota and Giles down the left-hand side all season long. Put it on repeat. Put it on repeat and put it. Oh, I was going to say in the Louvre. God damn it. Dude, we look really good right now. This is the best we've looked all season. Kabore in Barkley. Why are we, again, why are we taking the touch? I pressed circle to hit it on the volley and they take a touch. Is this meant to be happening? Doesn't matter, I suppose he was offside. Don't do it to me like this in stoppage time. Anderson up against Trezor. Yes, good block, Kabore. Just get rid of it, lads. Just get rid of it. Come on. Oh, I finally think we're over the hump. I don't want to jinx it, but we've had back-to-back -back Premier League wins for the first time this season, and that is by far and away the best we have looked. Oh my god, come on, Luton. We have received a transfer offer here from Khan for Ogbené, but I don't want to sell him purely for squad depth numbers. We do not have the numbers to sell him. The only player I want to sell right now is Kaminsky, so we're going to reject that one. And with that result there against Burnley, we are back in the logjam at the bottom of the table. One win could see us jump out of the relegation zone. Another offer here for Reese Burke. Again, I'd be open to selling these type of guys in the future, but right now we just don't have the numbers. Get Kaminsky out, and that's all I'm asking for. And just to show you guys, like, this is how our squad depth is. We literally have no reserves that are outfield players. So all of the scouting reports have come back for strikers of all abilities and ages around the championship and the Premier League. I'm still not 100% certain on what I'm going to do. I'm honestly debating approaching Manchester United and seeing if we can take Rasmus Hoyland on loan for the remainder of the season, get him some game time. I want to go for Mateta, but I don't think we have the money for him. I want to go for Ings, but I feel like he's too old, but he'd help us now. I'm so conflicted. Like, we could go for Hadji Wright, but I don't know if he's got the star power to keep us in the Prem. There are some big decisions. If we can sell Kaminsky and get more money in, that's going to make things a lot easier. Whilst we ponder it over, though, we do have a FA Cup clash here against Bournemouth, rocking a really rotated side because, again, the FA Cup is not my priority this year. It's the Premier League. Jota, nice back heel there to Doty. Doty, heavy ball in there. Brown, skilling his way in the box. We're going to get the shot off. It's red time from Ogbené. That is a huge opportunity, Jared. We got a pen. Come on. Jota with the pen. I'm going to the right here. Jota with the pen. Top right corner. Come on, Jota. There it is. We take the lead against Bournemouth here in the FA Cup. No penalty kick for Bournemouth. Oh, it's key. I think that's key for Moore versus Kasper Schmeichel. Which way are you going to go, buddy? You're going to go to the left, aren't you? Key for Moore. Makes it one all here in this FA Cup clash. That is the last thing we needed. We've already got fixture congestion. Now we're going to have an FA Cup replay. Bloody hell, I don't like that. All right, I'm going to give it a go, lads. Can we get Manchester United? Oh, my God. Okay, well, that there goes that idea. We're not going to line Lone Hoyland. I'm taking him off the list. I don't like our chances, but I'm going to approach Roy Hodgson and see if we can get... Oh, we're not going to be able to get him, are we? I wanted to see if we get Mateta on a cheap deal here. This would be an almighty bargain. 6.6 .6 mil. Yeah, 10.4. 
That one's not going to happen either. I'm debating going in for somebody like Danny Welbeck, who's only a slight little upgrade, but we could spend more money on other positions. I'm not going to go for Dykes. That's already decided. I'm not going to go for Adam Armstrong. Had you right? I mean, he's younger than Welbeck. He hasn't proven himself in the Premier League, but we could turn him into a superstar. Danny Ings has been there and done it. Vinicius, probably, I don't know, we get him on the cheap, but he's 28, 75. That's not a massive upgrade long term. For me, it's between Danny Ings and Haji Wright. Ings would be the great move for this second half of the season. Wright would be a better move long term. Haji Wright's taller, stronger, got better pace. Let's go in for him. This is either going to make or break our season. Can we get Haji Wright, the American striker, into the side here from Coventry City? Going to offer a low ball offer of 5.8. They want 7.8. That just ain't going to happen. We're going to say 6 million pounds here for the American. 6 million pounds. They want 7.8 again. 6.2 million. I'm running out of ways to spend this money. They want 6.6. Six, six. All right, we're game on here. Game on. We need to have enough money so we can actually offer him a decent wage so that he actually joins us. You're going to bump it up by 50,000 pounds a week and Coventry City are going to accept it. Do we have our new striker? I'm not willing to take any risks here. Let's get involved and get Haji right as a Luton Town player. Four-year deal is fine by me. Can he be our new target man? We can't afford all of that. I'm taking the bonus off and I'm giving him a 29.5 wage. We might not be able, he might be insulted by that. He's insulted by that. Oh my God, we're going to have to go for somebody else because we're running out of time here on deadline day. I don't even know if we'll be able to get Danny Ings as well. Let's go approach David Moyes here and see if he can do us a solid, if we can get Danny Ings into the club. We're going to have to lowball extremely here for Danny Ings. Six million pounds. They accept it. Oh my God, David Moyes accepts it. That was a lot easier than right. Please, Danny, please don't want a crazy amount of money. Please do not want that. Three years is totally fine by me. It's the money that I'm worried about. I'm not going to lie. The most we can offer is 40,000. That is 17,000 cheaper than his current wage. Those damn Premier League wages. He accepts it though. I genuinely didn't expect that. I thought we were going to get laughed out of the room. All right, lads, we've made our bed. We've got our new striker. I am hoping and praying that this signing is going to help us survive the relegation battle. But we are going to sign Danny Ings, who has the back of a Real Madrid jersey, the front of a free agent's jersey, but he is a Luton Town player. I am praying that Danny Ings is the answer to our problems here at Luton Town. 77 rated, that's a massive upgrade. He's been there, done it at the highest level. Please, Danny Ings, give us some of that vintage football we know you have capable of. And it is time for us to jump right into Danny Ings' debut here. Our team feels stronger. We've been playing so much better football here in 2024. Can Danny Ings compliment that? They signed Gio Reyna. Brighton signed Gio Reyna. That is wild. Defend. Good block. Good tackle, Anderson. Jota, we've been killing them down the left-hand side. We're going slow. Go early. Ings. Barkley has so much time in the world. Ross Barkley. We now know how to score, and that makes me very happy. Ross Barkley continues our run of form here, and we have got the lead against Brighton. Look at that. We just picked them apart on the counterattack. I think majority of my plays now and my attacks in the future are going to come down the left and right-hand side of the midfield, down the wings. Oh, this is a new animation. The ref cam? Chong in a compromised position, but they got the spray out, and we've got a free kick. Ross Barkley to take it here. This is my first free kick of the year. Let's see if we're any good. Ross Barkley is going to hit this one on the stroke of half time. He's going to green beam it. It hits the wall. God damn it. I need to learn my free kicks this year. I'm not going to lie, fellas. Ever since changing to the balanced play style, our team has felt 100,000 times better. I wish we did that earlier because we feel like a whole different team right now. Brighton laying it off. They square it. Great block there from Dyer. Brighton had a lot of momentum in the second half. Taylor, they're passing us to death. We can't lose our shape and lose this lead. Keep defending. Rafa Mur. Rafa Mur, they pass us to death. And have got an equalizer. They deserve it based off of this second half. But that is an extremely frustrating goal to concede. Brighton have all the momentum right now. This is not good. No long shots. Don't let Jao Pedro get a shot off. Great save, Schmeichel. Look at the numbers we've got on the counter here. Just pick them apart. Look at Chung. Brighton have flooded the whole other side. 
And Chong hits the post off the green beam. Oh my god, it hits the post and the crossbar. Oh no. Gotta hold on here, lads. Geo Reyna. Don't do me like this. We're defending here. Holding R1. Jal Pedro shoots it and blasts it over. He's tried to be the hero and he scooped it and put it in row Z, put it into someone's back garden. It's a draw. But man, that almost feels like a loss. We had so many good opportunities today. Here we go though, lads. Transfer deadline day. Let's see what happens. I just saw though, Bruno has gone to Chelsea. That is not good to see. Todd Bowley got the checkbook out again. If I'm being honest, lads, I'm not bustling at the seams to make any business happen here. We've got a solid starting level. We don't have any money in the back pocket. But we'll see if something fun pops up. And well, nothing popped up at all. That's the January transfer window done and dusted. And this is the team here that is tasked with keeping us in the Premier League in this second half of the season. With 16 games to go, we sit last in the Premier League, but this is as tight a relegation race as you can witness. The second half of the season begins here, lads. We've got Newcastle United on the road at St. James's Park. Let's see if we continue our solid form. Miguel Almiron playing that one out wide there. That is not a great spot to be. It's a heavy touch from Harvey Barnes, but he beats Kasper Schmeichel at the near post. You just can't give players and teams like Newcastle that sort of a look. Oh my God. Isaac's already in behind. I'm gonna have to bring Schmeichel out here. There is no stopping Isaac. It's a heavy second touch, but it is gonna be a goal for Newcastle United. Nothing we can do about that one. Long cross from Newcastle. I can already see that they've got a man wide open there. It's Harvey Barnes. Oh, we try for the big tackle. It would have been a penalty, but instead, Izak finds the back of the net. This is the worst loss we've had in a minute. Almiron. Almiron. I don't know what else I can do there. Newcastle. This is the worst loss. We've been looking so good lately, but this is us crashing back down to earth. Oh, my God. And to add insult to injury, it's a penalty in the 88th minute. To make it 5-0, this is not what we needed coming out of the transfer window. We guessed the right way, but Isaac just slots it. Yeah, well, we uh, we were getting a bit too big for our boots there. The big teams are just a different gravy this year. I don't normally simulate games, but we have an FA Cup clash here against Bournemouth. That is getting quick simmed straight away. I don't care about the replay. We end up winning it, though, on penalties, which is ironic. 3 all. And our, our FA Cup run continues. But with a massive game against Sheffield United coming up next, I'm going to call that an episode. So much to fight for in the season finale in episode number four. Will we keep our job? Will we stay in the Premier League? We'll find out then. Lads, if you enjoyed today's episode of the Luton Town Career Mode series, click here to subscribe and click here to watch another video.